It's Gail from Gail Goes the Garden. Hey June, this is my dog June. This is a video about making a bouquet that I'm going to take to my parents' house when we go there for dinner tonight. So if you'd like to see how I do that, keep watching. Hot June, what? You hot? So um, I picked a whole bunch of um, flowers from my garden this morning and a few from yesterday. But I cut them early in the morning because that's the best time to do it when it's cooler. Started. I'd like to start with something tall in the middle. Uh, I think I'm going to start with this um, gladiola and it still has another couple blooms to open so I think that will be a nice center. I'm making kind of a, a smaller bouquet. I'm going to put it in this um, jar. I save these jars all during the year. Things I like these tall jars because I think they look pretty with the flowers in the vase. So I'm going to start this flower um, with kind of the the height that I want it to be in this vase and then I'm going to build around it. I'm not going to cut the other flower stems until I'm done with the bouquet. I'm going to hold it in my hand as I'm making it and then I'll kind of adjust the sizes. I think I want to use for filler. Um, this is a stem that I cut from my um, Chinese forget-me-nots this morning. It's mostly done blooming but I think the structure um, is just really kind of cool. I think I might like this a little bit higher. I think that's very cool looking. Um, I'm going to add some snapdragons. Um, this still has a couple blooms to open. And I just think it's super pretty. I'll put that in here. The gladiolas and the snapdragons are kind of focal flowers. I'll put some more snapdragons as well. This one is pretty open, but it's just gorgeous. This is going to be something that I want to have look good from all sides. So I'm going to keep turning it as I add to it. Um, Trying to think of another color. I, these are some, um, this is Sahara Rudbeckia, which is absolutely gorgeous. So, so I'm gonna add one of those and I think that'll be pretty. Um, I have also some um, tall garden flocks that I cut yesterday. Um, the little individual flowers don't last for a super long time, but it's got a lot of buds still on it and I think those will continue to open. So I'm gonna put that in here too. I'm gonna put that a little lower it as a filler. I think that'll be pretty lower down. And I have another one of those on this side, I think. Um, yeah, I think that looks nice with those kind of building up the stem down there. Um, I want to get some more of that darker yellow in there. I think I have some more. Here's another Sahara Rudbeckia. I'm going to put that over here. I just, you know, kind of adjust as I go. Just fell on the floor. These flocks are kind of delicate. They'll tend to fall off as I go, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna take off that leaf because then it gets a little low. I don't want any leaves to be under the water because that, that'll make the bouquet spoil faster. Um, I also, let's see how these look. I'm not sure I'm gonna use them, but I had picked some red Sahara Rudbeckia that grows all together. I'm not sure if I like that. I feel like that makes it look a little too fall-like. So I think I'm gonna skip that. Um, I picked a bunch of zinnias as well. And I think I'm going to use, these are from a queen lime mix. This is queen lime red. Yeah, I think that's a little more summery because it's a little more to the pink side. And I also had a bunch of um, queen lime. These are just green ones. And I planted something called queen lime mix this year from Johnny Seeds. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the colors are in there. I think that's really pretty in there. I have more of those. I think I'm going to add some more of those. It's sort of, that's a nice, it's kind of, because it's green, I think it's kind of a background color, but I think they're gorgeous on their own as well. There's another one over here. Maybe over here. I need something on this side, something bigger on this side. Ooh, this is a really pretty Sahara with Becky. I'm going to put that there. Here's a queen lime orange zinnia. I have cone flowers and something is eating them, but I think I got this one before it really got eaten. Just beautiful color. I really love that. It's all I think I'm going to use another filler. I'm going to put some of this Feverfew. It's called um, Virgo Feverfew. I think it's from Johnny Seeds as well. Got a couple of those. There's another Feverfew. Put it on this side. Uh, maybe a little higher. Yeah, that looks pretty. Um, let's see. What else do I want to put in here? Um, ooh, I picked some really pretty coconut daisies. They're just gorgeous. I picked them today. I'm actually going to put a few of those in there. One, two, one. Also, put them on this side. So let's see how this is looking. I'm going to turn it around. 
sort of see how it's looking from all sides. But I want it to be a little bit fuller. Oh, I have these gorgeous um, liatris. And they start blooming from the top and they come all the way down. So this should last for a good long time. I think I kind of want this in the center, though. Uh, I think it maybe would look good with two of them. All right, this is looking super nice right now. I planted Ageratum Timeless Mix this year. So it, it's got a bunch of different colors. When I pick it, it kind of droops over a little bit. But I think that kind of looks pretty. So I'm going to put that in here. I also like the foliage. It's kind of fuzzy. Put one on that side. I think I'll put one over on this side. Lighter. This is a little more pink, but those are from the same um, timeless mix. I think it looks kind of pretty with something flopping to the side a little bit. So I'm liking the colors. I'm liking the flowers. I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I think I want this to be a little bit lower. I think that looks better. No, maybe a little bit higher. I like to experiment and just see what I think looks good. I really like the color combination. I think I'm going to stick to this. Just deciding if I want to put in one more snapdragon or if I'm done. I don't want to overdo it. I think I might be done. Okay, so now I know I want to put it in this jar right here. Um, and so that will be, you can see that this one right here is the right length. I'm going to put this over the bowl and I'm just going to snip these stems to make them be the same length. Now I'm going to put this in the vase and let's see how it goes. I think this will look pretty nice and I don't think it will flap too much because it's pretty thick. Yeah, so I think that's super pretty. You know what? I'm actually feeling like not 100% sure about the gladiola. I'm gonna actually experiment with replacing that with another snapdragon. Let's take that out. Got this other, gonna have a couple big snapdragons I could put in that spot. That looks pretty, actually. I'm thinking that looks prettier and I'm just thinking one thing is I think I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. So once I put these together, I do kind of turn them around and see what I like. It's so easy to fix mistakes just by going back in and doing some little snips. Now if that's shorter, I want this to be shorter too. So do this a little bit shorter. I think I'd say so. That is what I've got. I think right now it's looking good from all sides. I'm like there's maybe a little hole right here. Maybe a place to put another snapdragon. This one's really um, pretty much in full bloom, but I think it will probably fill that little hole very nicely. No, nope, a little too tall. Let's snip off a tiny bit. Put that right in the middle there. All right, we got it. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Really pretty. Got stuff going all the way around. I think I like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button um, if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks for watching.